This Marvel character is famous for breaking the fourth wall. And no, we're not talking about Deadpool. Welcome to Rants and Raves. This time, we watched the entire first season of She-Hulk. So, you don't have to? M Matt, uh, tell, tell us about this show. Attorney at law, Jennifer Walters, an attorney specializing in superhuman-oriented legal cases, must navigate the complicated life of a single 30-something who also happens to be a green six foot seven inch superhero Hulk. Yeah. So, so plot on this show, um, you know, I thought it was great, you know, a, a Marvel comic comedy, right. Which is, you know, essentially what the plot was. Right. Um, I, I thought it was a good plot. I thought it, they did a nice job uh, introducing us to how She-Hulk came to be, and um, you know, uh, you know, in, in all the you know the love interest stories, I, I, I like those two in, in the plot. Uh, I thought that, and as notice, I said stories. There's more than one, um, and uh, so so I, I, I thought that was good. Uh, yeah. I, I really enjoyed it. I, I, I thought the uh, the plot was uh, well done for, for a, a Marvel show, right? I mean, this is not a an Academy Award winning show or, or an Emmy winning show or anything like that, right? Yeah. But, but 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 for what it is, right? Um, I, I thought it was, you know, it, I thought it was done pretty well. Yeah. We got to remind you that this show just ended and the Emmys and the uh, Academy Awards haven't happened yet. True. So, uh -oh. Yet. Yeah. Sure that that's going to be a big contender. Uh, <laughs> on that note, I will say, I, I, I the, it was, it was fine um, for what it was. Uh, I, I will say, I liked it much better than most of the Marvel stuff I've seen up to this point. Um, it was a sitcom. Uh, it was funny enough. There were there were some points that were really funny. Some points that kind of, eh, you know. But, um, I it was okay. So the the first half of the series seemed the season at least was seemed actually fine. It seemed like your average run of the mill. Um, um, what we've been getting from Marvel movie shows recently and with some good comic relief and nice interest story into what's going on. But as the season went on, it got more and more weird. It got uh, superficial. It got, uh, it, it became a mess. And at the very last episode, uh, it kind of pulled itself back together in a unique way that I kind of don't want to spoil too much but i'm sure we will but it was an interesting choice they made at the end there and it I, it worked for me i have to say that that choice at the end but um i could see a lot of people who would actually hate how they handled that that being said i liked it yeah um man i gotta say that your takes are all very interesting they're completely wrong <laughs> but um that's okay no um honestly i i i love the idea of a marvel comedy in the mcu uh you know they've got the deadpool series that's kind of legacy it's not really not really part of the mcu though they've kind of like made like vague hints to tie those kinds of things in um it's it's not really there so it is the first real comedy. Uh, I think from a plot and story perspective, though, it started out meh and got worse. I thought the overarching plot of the series wasn't terrible. And there were some individual episodes that weren't terrible. But I overall, like the actual in the show 
episode, like moments never really came together for me, never really felt good. Uh, and I, uh, other than some, some specific moments, which we shall probably cover uh, as we go on, I, I did not enjoy the show as a whole. I would also say um, like the, the tone of this show is significantly different mm. and it is the most adult oriented of the MCU shows up to this point, which yeah. is uh, certainly something to be aware of. Um, and even more so in the after credit clips, like uh, those moments after the credits tended to be even more saucy than the ones in the show, which uh, mm -hmm. so if you've got a kid, don't watch those like you can skip those parts yeah so characters um you know the main character uh jennifer walter um i thought she did well right uh, you know she portrayed the she hulk uh, really well i mean you know just like uh, most um uh, Marvel uh, superheroes, right? They don't necessarily want to be a superhero, right? And she uh, certainly did not, uh, you know, throughout the the uh, story, uh, once becoming, you know, a She-Hulk, uh, she didn't want to actually do it and then, um, or let people know, but then, you know, she was kind of forced into, you know, becoming She-Hulk and, and protecting some folks and that kind of thing. And she does that throughout the, the show, right? But uh, that main character I, I thought was was really good. And, and a lot of the other supporting characters also I thought were, were pretty nice. Um, the, the cast, you know, that they had for the show I thought was was pretty strong. Uh, you, you could argue about the plot, right? And, and that, that kind of thing. But, but I thought, you know, for what they had and, and what they were trying to achieve, I thought all the all the characters delivered pretty well in the show. There was, yeah, I didn't find too too much. Um, even some of the characters that was only there for maybe like three episodes or whatever, uh, even those uh, characters still uh, uh, did pretty well. Yeah. Um, so so the, the characters I thought were were pretty strong uh, throughout. You know, you, again, you could argue about the plot and and, and those kind of in the writing and all. But the uh, but the characters I thought were were pretty strong. Yeah, and I I, I think I agree. Uh, the characters were the thing that I I, I think I liked the most about mm. this show. I thought it was well cast. Uh, there were several people that I already liked from other stuff, and I was happy to see them. Um, and but there was there were pretty much no characters. Because uh, every once in a while in a show, you'll see a character and it's like, yeah, I don't believe that that person is that person. You know, it, it's just a bad cast. Uh, but I, I I think they hit it out of the park uh, in, in regards to that. Uh, writing the characters, I don't know, because I'm not familiar with the source material. So I don't know if uh, any of them were right or wrong. Like when we did the Neil game and I had serious issues with a couple of the casting decisions because I was familiar with uh, previous properties. Uh, mm -hmm. This, I don't have that. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll say it was okay. So for me, Jennifer's uh, character arc was uh, her, her growth through her new self uh, discovery because she's a, literally a whole new person in this show that she has to figure out what she is. And that was actually fine. The, the her, mm -hmm. her arc was weird and uh went into strange places and did and, and was uh was for the most part took a long time to actually get to some kind of uh understanding and conclusion about what she is and who she is. Uh but finally by the end we do actually can get somewhere with her where we kind of understand what she's what she's supposed to be doing with herself uh everybody else in the show seemed a little flat to me one note if you know what i mean just one th they they didn't really have much to them a few bright spots for me was matt murdoch as daredevil 
Oh, Matt Maradoc and uh, Maradoc. Well, that's that's the that's, that's same guy. Uh, Emil Blonsky, who's also the abomination. I actually enjoyed that that his the, his role of being this super laid back guy. This this kind of guru. Uh, it's just it was. Namaste. Uh, it was so not what I expected out of out of him <laughs> so uh it was good <laughs> i enjoyed it a lot and um uh nikki ramos who is uh, jen's uh as, as paralegal helper and also um a friend uh she was just bubbly and fun and absolutely everything she did seemed to be just the right thing to do she was also a, a good bright spot for me in watching what the characters do fun things so but other than that i felt everything else was fairly blah character wise yeah um so as i as i i kind of came away in a slightly similar position i go through the characters and i think okay uh jennifer she's a well-developed character uh there's kind of like ration and reason to why they make she makes the decisions she does and and stuff um there were a couple of things about her that really annoyed me a lot. Uh, she whines a whole lot throughout the show. And this is for somebody who really has things going well for her until the one little thing, and it's not like becoming a Hulk is a, a horrible thing. I understand she presents it so. But then again, she presents everything about her life as being pretty miserable as a very successful woman that's, a, you know, completed law school and is working at a firm, uh, you know, so she's she's complaining about a lot of things, but doesn't have a whole lot to complain about, in my opinion. And then, um, you know, you move on and you start to look at the other characters, though, Wong makes a guest appearance enjoyed that quite a bit uh mm -hmm. a couple of guest appearances it's not really like a cameo or anything um the abomination uh <laughs> i i agree with you absolutely loved his role throughout the series his arc was the one that i actually found interesting and exciting and i would have rather seen the abomination show instead of the she hulk show um his like he was the real star of the series in in my opinion uh i did enjoy daredevil's uh appearances and uh the guy that was like the costume designer of the superheroes mm -hmm. I, I, I thought he was that. great i enjoyed him good. um and then uh his, her paralegal assistant was awesome as well yeah. Uh, yeah. nikki ramos she, so. she was good and uh wong's uh drunk girlfriend made an appearance or two in there too. I thought she was she was quite good too. <laughs> yeah, what there were a lot of fun for a comedy. Those are the characters that make the show enjoyable, though. In the moment, they may be kind of flat. They may not have a lot of dimension to them, like you were saying, Matt. But being the drunk girlfriend that shows up a couple of times drunk, that's just a for a laugh, right? Like, it's yeah, like, you don't need a lot of development in that. So that's right. that's kind of what I thought. Like the other characters were there for the little bit that they were there for. The the show almost exclusively revolves around those characters that I named, the the ones that you pointed out, Matt. And right. then you know you could throw in like that lawyer dude that was the uh, <laughs> assistant lawyer. I thought he was pretty funny. He plays a pretty small role, so he doesn't get like super well developed, but. You know, I, so there weren't a lot of other characters that you really needed to. So the first half from. of the season, character wise, was building up like these are going to be uh, characters who will have some type of growth to them and feels like that they're going to have something that will they will end up being something more than just the joke the, that they are at the beginning of mm -hmm. the series or whenever we see yeah. them far way through the series. And it took a while for me to realize, oh, that's not what this is trying to do at all. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And it was like the last couple episodes where it's finally like, okay, it, it doesn't matter. It's not the point of this to show to, to, to actually try to do that. It's, it's, a t if you're not realizing by now, you're supposed to be laughing at everything because it's absurd. 
than I did. And it just took me that long to get there. So it felt weird yeah. to me. So. Production for me, I, I mean, you know, it, um, you know, typical Marvel show. I, I thought the uh, production, I, I mean, it, it was on, I, I felt like it was on par with any other uh, product, uh, Marvel show that you would see on Disney Plus, right? So the production quality was, was good. Right. Um, I know that that uh, and I'm sure maybe some of you guys might talk about it. You know, there, there were some complaints about the CGI, you know, of the Hulk character itself. Right. But um, I, I thought it was fine. Right. I mean, you know, the the actual, you know, uh, Dr. Bruce Banner Hulk. Right. I mean, he's CGI as well. Right. But, um, you know, something that big, it's just hard to portray otherwise right and the, you know to, you know uh but but i i thought the uh cgi was was not too bad right but and and everything else was uh really good and the um um you know we we mentioned daredevil does make a, a, a um an appearance in this series and i thought his um his parts in it, you know, on the action parts that he was in, I thought was really nice, right? That was really, really good. Even better than the actual Darede uh, Daredevil show that they have out, right? So I, I, I thought that was that was uh, really, you know, really impressive what they did with him. I right? think that was intentional because he's got the new Daredevil show coming. Ah, okay. Yeah. All right. So, well, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Then, yeah then that, I mean, that explains that. So I, I would say that in my opinion, the action was about as good, but a lot easier to see. Because <laughs> in the Daredevil show, it's yeah, yeah. so dark, you can't see anything. It was anything. one of the reasons I stopped watching it, because it's like, yeah, I don't want to listen to people get beat up. Yeah, um, the lighting was better. <laughs> yeah, I, I, in regards to I, the CGI, mm -hmm. um, to respond to you, um, overall... I think I like the production quality, but the She-Hulk character model was garbage. Um, imagine Shrek and Gumby had a baby. <laughs> um, that's all I could think of. And the main reason uh, we were talking beforehand, and I realized the main reason that I think that is because there were so many scenes with her and uh the hulk the movie hulk uh hanging out and fighting and that it was just shining a spotlight side by side uh this is what it could have looked like but this is what we're giving you um <laughs> had the had the movie hulk not been in it i think her character or the character design would have been fine um, and I will say I got to give them, uh, mad props for the amazing job they did making LA look like someplace worth living. <laughs> <laughs> they got rid of all the dirt and the wow. junkies and just everything that is, if you've ever been to downtown LA, um, ugh. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I would like to remind you that that show was recorded in Georgia. Well, uh, that, that's why. <laughs> there you go. That, that's why. Um, <laughs> they 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 did their best to make LA look like San Diego, um, and they didn't. They did a pretty good job. Uh, so, so for me, uh, l l talking specifically about the She Hulk, then that CGI character there. There were times where it was just fine. It was natural. It looked fine. She uh, the, the the what she said matched up with her facial expressions, and actually it was fine. And then there were other times where it was very robotic and weird and didn't look good at all. But I'm going to expand that a little bit and say so most of the time that you were commenting how the Hulk, Bruce Banner's Hulk, the Hulk, uh, also looked great most of the time. There were a couple of times where he also looked a little stiff and didn't look quite right either. It seems to me, and also there's a character at the end of the movie, the last episode, who is completely CGI. 
And that character also looked like it was a, from a 1999 video game, just well, to say are, something. Are you else. talking about the, when the Abomination shows up as the Abomination? No, actually, the Abomination was oh, one I, of the I, best I was going to say, I enjoyed game. him. It was cartoony looking, yeah. but, but in a good way. No, no, it was fine. That yeah, was yeah. fine. It, it was just there's a there's so there's a uh, a character that uh, she hulk goes and find and talks to and that character oh, yeah. uh it does look like like it was not nearly enough polish on that cgi there to so, make it look real but that's okay that was the point but so here's okay go ahead uh, you were getting at it i think there right like that was the point right like this is the thing about the she hulk's character I didn't notice as much of a problem with the Hulk and I didn't notice any problems with the abomination. Right. The, I think that the majority of the time that you felt like she wasn't doing like her model wasn't very bad was because you forgot to pay attention to how bad it was. Hey, that, you, you, know you lost the, you lost track of that. Uh, there were moments that were worse, like even in the trailers, like, there were moments that, and they more or less made them in as they were uh, into the show that, that you could see some pretty bad model work. However, just like the final sequence that you were referring to that other character that she finds, that was very intentional. They explicitly say that in the show because she breaks the fourth wall. Right. And this whole conversation in that final episode, uh, it, it's very intentional that it looks low budget. Right. I think my they even, they even say, that, do you want me to do this off camera yeah. because it costs less? And it's like, yeah, oh. <laughs> exactly. <God>. Um, so <laughs> I think that that was actually kind of the intention with the She-Hulk all along. She kind of looks like the Jolly Green Giant uh, with roughly the same level of animation quality. Okay, that's that's a, maybe a little harsh, but they very I think they very intentionally made sure that it wasn't as good mm -hmm. as what you would expect from a typical Marvel movie. Right. None of the CGI characters from any of the Marvel movies or other shows, even like Loki and stuff, they they were not this bad. And I think that it was just like very intentionally saying she is a comedic character. We're going to make her look be part of the comedy. You. And mm -hmm. I kind of felt like that was confirmed in that final episode when they were talking about like the cost of animating and like cutting down budget and stuff so like that. I, I don't care if you have paper cutouts and it was drawn in crayon. A good story can get me to suspend disbelief. My favorite example of this is the movie Toy Story. I believed I always could move and talk when I wasn't looking at them because Toy Story, mm. not the world's greatest, bad at the time, it was probably the greatest CGI, but the, the humans in that story were not. <laughs> <laughs> they, yeah. But that being said, by the time we really got close enough to seeing a lot of, you know, I was immersed in the story, I couldn't care less. So. Yeah. You mm -hmm. have to get me to suspend my disbelief, and then I don't care. There are times where the She-Hulk characters, mm -hmm. very weird movements, very dead, uh, un uncanny valley eyes, I would suddenly lose my suspension disbelief, and I would then go, I wish this was better. But uh, most of the time, it was fine. See, and that, uh, there, there is a fine line between uh, bad and good. Uh, there is a series on the web called Teen Girl Squad, which is literally ballpoint pen scribbles on lined paper. Nice. And it looks awesome. Um, mm -hmm. It's terrible, but it's mm -hmm. fun. Um, that looks better than her character model. Yes, mm -hmm. her character didn't need to be movie quality, but it could have been better. I think mostly yeah, I, it's it the, sh it's, sorry. I will rephrase that. It should have been better. I feel like the problem was not necessarily the model. I think it was just the not enough time put onto the detail to make her movements uh, uh, natural enough. There well, were the times where is, it was fine. There were times where it was like, but the thing oh, is God, that character so wasn't animated. They had a woman 
like a seven foot tall woman that was actually playing She Hulk. Um, I can't think of her name. She's credited as on set She Hulk. Oh. Um, so so you had uh, they were doing mocap. No, okay. Um, because they yeah. would have to put Jen's voice and right. face okay. onto a lady that right. doesn't look look similar. So but, it's or it's their look familiar. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. so yes, there is no excuse. There is no excuse for. Oh, and and but had there not been so much Hulk, uh, it wouldn't have. I don't think it would have been an issue. Probably yeah. right. One thing that I liked about the show was the main character Jennifer Walters. She would occasionally speak to the audience, right? She would occasionally look into the camera and and you know just just speak, you know, just say something to the audience. And I I kind of liked it. It, it. Again, it just played up the the comedy, you know, how, how much this was, you know, um, uh, and of a, that, of a that comedy is, show. That right there is the iconic She Hulk. Mm-hmm. That is what mm-hmm. the She-Hulk comic is famous for. Right. Yeah. Well. Okay. Maybe. Maybe I remember reading that, but uh, yeah. I, I did read some of the She-Hulk comics years ago. Um, but uh, but yeah, I don't. I don't particularly remember that. But uh, okay. But uh, but still, nonetheless. I, oh no, no, know, it was great. I wasn't disagreeing. I was just yeah. saying that it it's good that you like yeah, that it, because that's the whole thing <laughs> yeah i mean that that, show. that really that really played up the comedy right and 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 again I, I guess my my big like in the whole thing that hey you know it was a marvel show you, you had some action in there and it was a comedy and you know, because typically these marvel shows are not comedies right and uh, this one was so I, I thought it was a little bit you know refreshing that it being a comedy i think is what made it good to me and I liked it. So, you know, uh, I really enjoyed uh, the Abomination guy. Uh, I never saw any. I've never watched any of the Hulk movies, so I had to look it up. Um, I had to look up to see who he was, which was a good thing that I did that because then I caught the joke when the Hulk says, uh in reference to the abomination, I was, I was a different person then literally. (laughs) I would not have gotten that had I not looked into the Emil Blonsky thing. Um, And, you know, I, I enjoyed his character, uh, the argument that they made in uh, to get him released actually made sense. Um, So I will give them credit for that. Uh, Obviously, Daredevil's walk of shame. Who who wouldn't like that? But even he smiled. <laughs> and but um, I really my the thing that I really loved was uh was the whole Wong side story with uh his Jersey Shore party girl. Um, which they're not. It's not it was, his girlfriend. She's was... she's just a guy. Or she's just the girl that shows up and he puts up with her. And right. then eventually she kind of, he, he enjoys being around her, but, uh, mm-hmm. um, that, that, that whole, uh, story arc with the, the magician guy and throwing people into other portals or into <laughs> other worlds, that, that was great. Uh, yeah, right. and, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. The, the various laws, the law pieces were kind of fun. Every single one was a unique fun look into a something that you can't have normally so it was got awfully fun to do that i i i also want to talk a little bit about the fourth wall to breaking yes i actually really enjoyed it when mm-hmm. we had she was if when she uh bro- looked at directly into the camera she really did connect with me as a viewer and it was like oh, okay we're talking about what she's going on with her life and she knows that we're watching it and obviously there are times where she did that and it was like almost important that she did that did if she respond? didn't respond no no but oh. there are times that she did that and the show would have been much worse without it oh, yeah. so mm-hmm. there are times where if that didn't exist it would have made a, it would have been a huge mistake and i'm glad that they went 
as deep into that route as they did. And so, it, but what most importantly, I think what's important for everybody is that this show does not take itself too seriously. You shouldn't either, like mm -hmm. I was at first. <laughs> Right. And the ending was uh, good. I I love the ending. I really did. I, like I'm going to say I absolutely love the ending. If it when you get it in context, if you don't know anything about She-Hulk, um, it doesn't make any sense. And I get why some people were frustrated. Uh, but from what I've heard about the series, the things that people keep talking about over and over and over about how she'll just like give up on a scene, walk through the panel into mm -hmm. a different part of the comic book and be mm -hmm. like, okay, we're, we're starting here. Um, <laughs> that's from the comic book. That's right. literally what she Hulk does. Um, which is why that, you know, the whole rearranging everything and change, changing the story. Um, but yep. yeah, I loved it. that. And I was, I was very satisfied when they did that. Mm -hmm. yeah. and so i'm really uh, i thought that that was a great way of uh, doing of ending this this series quite frankly and makes me wonder what a second season would possibly allow us to do because it does mean there's a lot of things that we could do from here from her point of view yeah. i i'm I, hoping it's more marvel's take on harvey bird man attorney at law <laughs> <laughs> so for me, the things that were best about the show were the times that it didn't really include She-Hulk. Uh, hey, that's normally my line. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I I didn't really like her at all. Uh, oh. Through through the whole series, she never really connected to me. Um, so I was I was kind of. Uh, you know, not loving it. There were there were definitely moments. I'll, I'll I'll give it that. But the majority of the things I really enjoyed were coming from other characters. It was the way the abomination acted and the way his interactions with her and his uh, guru mentor approach and stuff like that. I like that uh, Daredevil. My favorite episode was probably the scene the the one where they fought together and and mm -hmm. worked together and that was pretty good. Wasn't a whole lot really that I didn't didn't like. I I, I kind of enjoyed it, you know, for for what it was. So I didn't really find too much. I mean, I, I could see points, you know, uh, you know, we we've already talked about it a little bit. People not liking the CGI. I I, I could understand that, right? You know, it, it didn't really bother me that much, but I could understand if somebody you know complained about it, right? Um, you know, could that have been done better? Yeah, I I I won't argue against that right that, that it, it, it's, it certainly could have been done better it, it didn't bother me all that much and so so yeah not too much that i didn't really like about the show uh for what it was right i mean you you, you got to realize you, you're going in you're going to see a marvel show it's a comedy right um and if you go in knowing that right then you, you're going to get exactly that right uh, so I thought it was pretty good, and yeah, I, I hope they do have a second season. Yeah, um, the only thing the only thing I disliked was her Gumby like <laughs> skin um, <laughs> in, in, in the CGI model. That that's really the only the only complaint I have about the show. Hmm. For me, it was. LA it, it, it I know this movie apparently made LA look clean and, and bright and all that um yeah it, if this was like LA on its best day I still don't want to be there oh this, no this, you shouldn't LA this is a is, terrible place <laughs> <laughs> the, the the life that this being uh, this goes on there the the, the, the She-Hulk and everybody and all they do and their datings and their drinking and the content and the, how the, it doesn't feel like their work is as serious as it should be. Although I know that it is, uh, it just, it feels horrible. And I'm, it's, it's a thing that I am happy. I don't live in that life, whether that's real LA or fake LA. I'm glad I, I, I will say.
Yeah, I mean, I think it's a caricature of LA, uh, like everything in a comedy type show is. Uh, I think that it highlights the it highlights kind of what the essence of LA is. That's what you do with caricature. You take the things that are it and you kind of expand them a little bit. I don't know that they did that all that much. I think it was mostly a real life drawing. I kind of agree with Clyde. Um, don't have a terribly great uh, perspective of LA myself. Um, but what I would say is I think like, I personally think that they intentionally left She-Hulk uh, uncanny valley like not a hundred percent as good and real as everything else in the show I think that was an intentional decision and that it was intentionally to separate her from everything else in the show just like they do for Jennifer by separating her out with those uh wall you know breaking the fourth wall and stuff which the she hulk does as well but i feel like that was kind of intentional because i have seen marvel do skin so much more effectively less plastic uh in a lot of them including the abomination in this show so mm -hmm. i i think my inclination is that it was an intentional decision um that said it, it it didn't really bother me a lot what i disliked was more or less just her uh mostly her human character hmm. was pretty annoying i mean she has this whole rant about how she deals with anger better than the hulk and like than men and stuff like that and then the first time something is presented to her that would really upset her she does exactly what they want she loses her temper goes out of control starts breaking things and stuff like that like that was that was weak i, I think that was a, a a poorly designed plot to to have that like that juxtaposition like she obviously doesn't do better controlling her anger um and and that happens kind of repeatedly like she does not have good control of her emotions despite the fact that she goes on this big tirade about but about it in the show you if you don't mind plopping down the seven bucks or eight bucks whatever it is for for one month of uh, disney plus it's an additional two dollars if you're a hulu subscriber already right right so so just just that to watch this show yeah. for one month. Yeah, no, there, I, there, yeah, there. absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I, I will agree because there's not a lot I watch on Disney plus. Uh, so I don't normally subscribe. I will say when this show comes back around for season two, I will probably resubscribe to watch this show. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I think that that value is there. Yeah. I think that this show main value is subverting expectations and so it's it's the humor and the and the and the taking of things that you expect to have happen and saying well let's do something that you maybe you shouldn't be expecting especially inside the mcu universe uh it's it's breaking rules and that's fun and do being being uh being absolutely bonkers about it yeah, absolutely. I, I think especially how the MCU has gotten really serious generally. Yeah, I mm -hmm. think this is totally worth it. I would totally pay for a month for this show. If Especially, you know, it's like I want to see everything with the MCU, but I'm getting tired of it. This is a good, a good change of uh, direction. I liked it. Mike? So it's about two months because that's, you know, the, the unless, run is unless about unless two you months. Wait so you'd have to sub done. So you'd have to wait to subscribe. You'd either have to subscribe for two months or wait until it's done and then watch it all at once. I would say it's borderline, really, really borderline of being worth it if you're a big Marvel fan. It's absolutely it's more, not borderline worth it. being worth two dollars. Hot takes. Isn't it isn't it like five bucks? No, it's if you're a month? Hulu, if you're a Hulu subscriber, it's an additional two dollars. Okay, but if you're not, then it's five bucks, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So I I would say this season is 
it's it's solidly worth two bucks. So if you're a Hulu subscriber, fine, pay the two bucks. <laughs> if you have to pay, I, I would definitely not pay ten bucks. I would maybe pay five bucks if you're a, a Marvel fan. Mm-hmm. I would say if you are a Marvel fan and already own Hulu Plus, absolutely watch it. Also, probably not with your kids that are under, say, 13-ish. Yeah. For me, two yeah. thumbs up. You know, I came in here expecting I was going to be the one that pooped all over it. <laughs> um, but apparently, I'm the advocate. Um after, after I, I think you guys changed my mind. I think I love this show um, <laughs> because the, uh, as all the negative things you brought up made me go uh, want to <laughs> argue. Um, I I don't think it I, I I don't think it was what it should be at the beginning, but I think it mm-hmm. by the end they got to the place when 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 Mike said it got worse. Um, worse equals better Um, because that's when uh, later as the show went on I I, the first couple episodes I didn't like it Mm -hmm. Um, but by the time we got to the end I was I enjoyed it so I yeah I if you like comedy and you're uh, have an open mind and your name isn't Mike uh, I would probably (laughs) recommend it (laughs) Nine, nine out of Mike's ten up. mics aren't gonna like this show. Nine ah! out of ten mics will hate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I totally recommend this movie just to anybody who uh as long as you understand it is intended to be absolutely ridiculous and fun and enjoy the enjoy the ride because if it it definitely turns into a ride by the end. So yeah, I recommend it absolutely. Yeah, I, I will clarify what I meant by it gets worse. She, as a character, continues to get worse throughout the series. Uh, oh, man. I like her less. The, yeah, and I never liked her. Yeah, uh, I don't care the show her. itself, the, the, most of the high moments are towards the end of the series. Um, I really disliked the ending. Uh, I know what they were trying to do, and I thought it was absolutely awful. Um, uh, I feel like Deadpool came after She-Hulk. Deadpool is not the original character that broke the fourth wall, but the way they did it in the show was vastly superior. That character worked much better. That's probably thanks to Ryan Reynolds being so good with his comedy and stuff, but I did not... I I found it an annoyance in this show. And... um, yeah. So would I recommend it? I, I kind of gave you that. Like, I, I wouldn't recommend it unless you're a Marvel fan or like really want to burn some money. Um, <laughs> so but you could just subscribe to our Patreon and burn the money that way. Yeah. <laughs> that would be much better use of your money. Uh, before we go, uh, I do have one more recommendation. Hmm. Uh, this is a recommendation to the writers of the show and the producers you need to go to Amazon and watch every season of a show called Fleabag and copy it because that <laughs> is how you break the fourth wall properly. But uh, I, I, I guess, I mean, that's what that's what we think. Uh, but really, we're, we're interested to know, what do you think? Uh, did, did we hit the mark? Uh, was Mike completely wrong? Uh, I mean... Yeah, but how many we how want many your confirmation are gonna agree? Yeah, if your if your name is Mike, you definitely need to put in the comments uh, whether you liked it or not. We're we're gonna we're gonna do our own testing. We'll, we'll find Mike's. a way to yeah, we'll find a way to get the statistics. Uh, and then, Mike test, Mike test. Yeah, Mike Mike <laughs> check. Right. We'll call that a Mike check. Mike check. Mike uh, check. <laughs> But uh, yeah, uh, also don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. It helps the channel uh, immensely. And then if you would like to support this channel, you know, we have to pay for the
these services and pay for these devices out of our pockets. And uh, mo uh, some of that money comes from the patrons. Uh, so we thank them. And if you'd like to be one, there's a link in the description where you can become a patron as well. Uh, otherwise, uh, thanks, guys, and see you next time.